If you're watching this, then you probably already know that DJI Innovations has just released its Phantom 2 Vision quadcopter. The company sent me one before the official product launch, and I've been trying it out over the past several days. I've got to say, so far, it's pretty great. The Wi-Fi HD video camera, of course, is the big new feature that the Vision has over the original Phantom. It has a maximum resolution of 1080p, it records on an included 4GB micro SD card, and best of all, you can watch a live feed of its video on your iOS or Android mobile device via a free app. This allows you to start and stop recording, tilt the camera up and down, and of course, it also makes you feel like you're actually up in the quadcopter. It's also nice to see that DJI has included an anti-vibration mount with the camera. On the original Phantom, the user's GoPro is hard mounted directly to the copter. As you can see in this shot from my old Phantom, that setup often results in what's known as the Jello effect. In this shot of the same neighborhood taken with the Vision, however, the Jello is gone. I did still notice a few wobbles in some of my shots, but they're not nearly as big of a problem. Incidentally, you can also buy those anti-jello mounts for the original Phantom. Look for them on eBay. The Vision is definitely a bit easier to fly than the earlier model, thanks to a new version of the NASA M control system. It just generally feels a lot more forgiving and predictable based on my limited experience with it so far. Also, the app makes it possible to fly the Vision by first person view which definitely helps when you get confused about which way it's facing. The new battery is another big selling point. It easily slides in and out, it has a built-in power switch, and it allows for 25 minutes of flight time. The original Phantom's battery has to sort of be crammed in, it gives you 10 to 15 minutes of use, and the quadcopter automatically powers itself up whenever the battery is installed. I was kind of surprised to discover that the camera has no mic. That might not be a particularly big deal, but it does mean that if you don't add a soundtrack to your videos, then instead of sounding like this, they'll sound like this. Also, the camera has no line out. This means that in order to download your footage, you'll either have to do so by Wi-Fi, or you'll have to pop out the memory card and stick it in a reader. You'll also need that reader to erase old files off the card, as there's no way of doing so with the app. Altogether though, the Vision is definitely impressive. It sells for 1199 bucks, while the original Phantom is now available for a new lower price of 479 For more details, check out my full review via the link in the video description.